Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing powder right here in my hand. And pretty much what it is, is a product that you can use to water a plant. So first thing first, let me actually open it up and show you what it looks like and what comes out the package first before we talk more about the product. So here is the instruction guide of how to set up and how to use it. So here are the anti-tilt brackets and also the adjustable slow release valve that you can use on here. So here and here. And then the rest of the stuff in here is pretty much the watering spikes where you actually put it onto your product to uh, start watering it. So you guys can see there's one, two, three, but they provide you 12 of these different ones. And the hole that they made here is literally uh, small enough or big enough to actually fit your water bottles. So pretty much how it works is that you wanna put this part right here into this little hole. Make sure you wanna put it in as close as possible into the product. And then you can see you guys control the setting on here of how you want it to drip and uh, how often you want it to drip. And then for the anti-tilt bracket, you guys will actually put it like this. So once you guys put it, this part in and just stick this into the plant, this part will help you support the product so then that way it won't tilt the water bottle or tilt this part uh, to the side or whatever. So once you guys have this all set up, you guys can stick the water bottle on here. So you guys look at the pictures right here. This is how they uh, show you guys how to do it. So everything I showed you guys, where you guys plug into, into the hole for the uh, valve, and then you just stick the water bottle in. But you have to cut the top part of the water bottle so you can fill more water uh, later on, I guess. And then you just stick it onto the water bottle. And then you guys put on the anti-tilt bracket, and you guys can control on how you guys want the water to be dripping onto the product. So it would actually drip from the actual product on the here. So the water will be start dripping from here, but not from here. This is only the product to actually help you hold it in place. So that's why you wanna make sure this part is plugged all the way in or else it won't uh, fully work correctly. So the only way for us to actually find out whether or not this is worth it and whether or not it actually works is to go test it out. So let's go test it out first and then come back and talk about the product. All right, so here we have the device all set up. If you guys can see, you plug in this part right here and then the stand to hold the um, water bottle so it won't fall off. So pretty much how you want to do it is make sure you want to twist it all the way first to make sure it's all the way so that way it won't drip any water first and then when you guys are ready for the water drip you turn it the other way so it can get loose so let me show you guys so you guys can see it starts to drip so that's how you can control like how much is coming out of it if you want it to be faster just keep twisting until it um, comes out with more water so as you can see it starts dripping faster and faster and you want it slower, just turn back the other way and it slows down again. So it's a really cool product if you guys want to control how much water you guys are feeding the plant. Um, the more you guys want it, then twist it to looser and the tighter it is, the less water comes out. So let me go all the way to show you guys how fast it can drip. So it can drip pretty fast, but then you guys want to control the water by using this, but also using the drill, the little uh, thing that they give you so you can make some holes on the bottle. Or they also suggest that you guys cut the top of the bottle, so that way you can have some air and ventilation so it can continue to drip. Like right now it's stopped because there's not enough uh, ventilation, but if I squeeze the bottle, the water just comes out. So just want to make sure that you guys cut the top of the bottle or make some kind of like air for the water to keep going down. Cause right now if you guys just leave like this, no water will come out. So I just figured out also that one thing what you guys can do with this device, instead of just plugging in, you guys can use it as a skirter as well to skirt the um, water onto the plant. So if you guys can see it right here, just skirt it out and just start playing the water however you guys want to. Very cool. So if you guys want to use that technique as well, you guys can do that. All right, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test the product, you guys can see that actually does work and actually works quite well. Um, how well does it work? We'll have to find out after like maybe a month or so when I actually use it more and more. Having one of these products is quite nice because sometimes you guys forget to water plant and you guys have this product to do it for you. And then if you guys run out of water, you can, by the time you guys look at it, you'll be like, oh wait, I need the water again. You guys can refill it and just reset the uh, watering plant device. So pretty much long story short to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not for uh, $13. Um, for me, honestly, I have to say that so far it's quite worth it, but I want to test out a little bit more to actually see how it works after maybe like a month or like a year of the performance and everything, and then come back and talk about the product and let you guys know. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the little unboxing, testing, and feedback of the product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan shout out day we have. Yeah.